Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. I know I took an unexpected week off, but what a week it was. I have some great news. So what's the big news? I bet many of you already have guesses. We actually have more than one piece of news. So much has been happening around here. It's an amazing time of life. Two of our daughters have gotten engaged and they'll be getting married next year. We are so excited about that and so happy to have their fiancés become part of our family. Then Friday nights, I usually have a family dinner and my son and his wife were here and my son raised his hand to say something as he often does. I don't know why nobody else raises their hand to speak. And I said, yes, you in the gray shirt. And he said, we're having a baby. Oh my gosh, I got so excited. I jumped up, I ran around the table, I kissed them both. <laughs> you guys know I've been talking for a while about becoming a grandma. So I am so excited about this. And they've already dubbed me Granny Franny. I love the name. Anyway, I was planning to do a tutorial on a hat I saw at Saks Fifth Avenue. It was going to be another Crochet the Runway project. But as soon as I found out that a new baby is going to be coming to our family, I had to switch gears and start making a baby project. And as a matter of fact, my son and his wife said, I bet the content of your channel is going to change, which let's face it, it probably will. There will probably be many baby projects. So I decided let's do another crochet along. We had done that Cranford cardigan crochet along where I taught how to read the pattern and how to make the cardigan. And I'm gonna do the same type of thing. So if you're a beginner, this is the perfect project. We're gonna make what's called the Twinkle Stars Baby Blanket. It was a free pattern on Yarnspirations and I'll link the pattern below so you can print it out and get your supplies. We'll go through the pattern, we'll make the blanket together, we'll do it in a few parts. And if you have any questions as we go, just put them in the comments below or send me an email to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com and I will answer you as quickly as possible. So you probably wanna see the project. I have the pattern right here. Here's the blanket. I just thought that was so simple and so pretty. I really liked it. And I know that Matt and Naomi like the color gray, so this'll be nice. Now, many of you may know Matt because he was on my channel early on. He helped me choose a giveaway winner and he has his own channel called Matt Serkin. I'll link it below. He plays the harpeggi, the piano, the guitar, and uh, many of you have gone over and supported him, so thank you for that. If you wanna go take a look, click on the link below. If you don't know what a harpeggi is, that'll be fun to check that out. It's a really cool instrument. Okay, so without further ado, let's start taking a look at the pattern. Okay, so let's start taking a look at the pattern and first, what we will need. It says here to use Red Heart and Getty's Baby Yarn. Now, I went looking for this yarn and it looks like it was discontinued. I think you might still be able to get some of it on Etsy or other places, but rather than doing that, I figured I'd check out my stash, see what I had, and what I'll be using is something that I think is comparable. So just so you know, the Ann Gettys Baby Yarn is a three-weight yarn. It's 80% acrylic, 20% nylon, so it's an acrylic blend. And then the other uh, supplies you'll need are a four millimeter hook, a yarn needle, and a stitch marker. So what I did was I went into my stash and I looked for three weight baby yarns in the same colors. And I had these softly baby yarns from Ice, which will be perfect for the stars. And these are a three weight yarn you can see here. There's 100 grams per skein. It's 50% acrylic, 50% polyamide, feels soft. And I think it'll be a good substitution. Then I didn't have a gray in a three weight, so I went out and I bought this Bernat Softy Baby yarn in this color called flannel, which I really like. I think that'll be pretty. 
And this is, let me see, also a three weight yarn. This has 140 grams per skein. So the pattern called for four skeins of the gray, I believe that's the dolphin color. And the Ann Gettys yarn is 100 grams per skein. So I need less than four. I could probably do even a little less than three, but I bought four anyway, because I always like to have extra. Also right here, there is information about the Ann Gettys baby yarn. So it'll tell you that the solid colors, which this pattern's calling for, come in three and a half ounce skeins, 100 grams per skein, 340 yards, or 310 meters per skein. So when you're looking to replace with a different yarn, you can look at these numbers and make sure that you're gonna have enough. So uh, just, you know, get your supplies based on this and on the alternatives that you choose. Now, as far as gauge goes, when it comes to blankets, I don't normally care so much about gauge unless I bought a kit. If I bought a kit, I worry about gauge because I don't want to run out of yarn. But I'm going to have plenty of yarn for what I got here, so I'm just going to use the 4 millimeter hook. I tend to crochet loosely and use up more yarn than is usually needed, so I will probably go over the amounts used by a little bit and I'll end up with a little bit of a bigger blanket, which for me is totally fine. So it's up to you if you wanna do the gauge, and if you do, it's right here, and it says eight stitches equals five inches, and 10 rows equals four inches. So you can check your gauge against that if you would like to do that. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll just take a look at the pattern here. It says the blanket measures 34 and a half inches wide, by 36 and a half inches long. And again, if you are following the gauge, it should match that. If not, it may be off a little. The special stitch is this single crochet two together stitch. And these stitches will go over as we actually do the blanket, but this will just give you a heads up to know which stitches you're gonna need. Special technique, they join with a single crochet. A lot of times people will join with a slip stitch. In this case, we'll be joining with a single crochet in certain places. And then there are some notes. The blanket is worked back and forth in two row repeats of star stitches. Bases are made in odd numbered rows and three half double crochets in the top of each base completes the stitches in the even numbered rows. So you'll know based on which row you're on, whether you're making the base of the star stitch or the top of the star stitch. The second note says chain one at top of star base closes the stitch. Begin next base in space of same closing stitch. Border is worked in joined rounds with the right side facing and star motifs are worked separately and sewn to the blanket. Center of the star is made in continuous rounds. Then each point is worked in rows and all of those things you'll see as we go along. All right, so let's get started with our blanket. I'm gonna start with my gray color and we're gonna start with chaining 163. This yarn feels nice and soft. I think this will make a really nice blanket. Okay, so to start my chain, I'm just gonna make a slip knot like this. And I'll start chaining. One, two, three, and keep doing that until you have 163 chains. And I'll meet you when you have them all done. Okay, so I have my 163 stitches and you see some stitch markers here. I put them every 50 stitches. That way if I lose track, it's just easy for me to find my way without counting every single stitch. Okay. Now, for row one, this is this will be our right side. We're gonna insert the hook in the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're gonna insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop four times. So that four times is referring to the parenthesis. Okay, and then we'll yarn over and draw through all six 
loops on the hook and chain one. Now I know that's a lot to take in at once. You can follow your instructions as I do it. All right, so first we're gonna go into the second chain from the hook, one, two. We're gonna put our hook in, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now, four times, we're gonna go into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, that's one. Into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, that's two. Into the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's three. And into the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's four times. Now I should have six loops on my hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to yarn over, pull through all six of those. And then I'm going to chain one. And that closes and makes my star base right there. Pretty little cluster. Okay. Now, next, what we're going to do, so we just finished this chain one, and that's our first star base made. Now we're going to insert hook in the chain one space of the star base that we just made. So that's that space we just made. And we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're going to insert the hook in the same chain as the last loop made of that last star base. So remember, we went four times, so the very last loop that we made will be the one we go into, and I'll show you that. And then we're gonna repeat, insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop three times, because we're doing one in the chain one space, one in the last loop, that's two of them, and three more will be five plus the one we already have on our hook, and that'll be six loops. You always wanna end with six chains on your hook to make your star base, okay? And this'll be clearer to you as you do it. So I'm gonna go into that same chain one space that I just made there. I'm gonna stick my hook in, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Then you're gonna look where you just went into those chains and drew up a loop, you're going to go to the last one where you drew up a loop. You see that? My loop is attached to it. That last chain. And I'm going to put my hook in there and draw up a loop. Okay. Now in the next three chains, I already have three on my hook. In the next three chains, I'm just going to go in, yarn over, draw up a loop. That's one. And I'll go into the next one, draw up a loop. That's two. And the next one, draw up a loop, that's three. I'll have six on my hook again. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through all six, just like that. I kind of pull it down so I can get into those loops easier. Chain to close that base. There's my second star base made, isn't that pretty? And now I'm gonna just repeat that over and over again until I get to the end of my 163 chains and on the very last stitch I'm going to do a half double crochet. So that says that right here. I'm going to repeat from the star all the way across to the end and half double crochet in the last chain and then I'm going to turn and I will have 53 star bases and one half double crochet. So again let me just show you what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go into that chain one space that I just made when I closed up that base, okay? And I'm gonna pull up a loop. Then I'm gonna go into the last chain where my last loop was, you can see, because it's tugging on it. I'm gonna put my hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop. And then the next three chains, I'm gonna go in, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's one two, and three. I'll have six on my hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over, pull through all six, and chain to close that. I'm gonna get rid of my stitch markers now. I just use that for counting my beginning chains to make sure I get them right. Okay, so basically that's what you're going to do all the way across till you get to your last chain. And I will meet you there. 
and we will do a half double crochet there and turn our work. If you need to review how to do these bases, just go back in the video and watch how I made these. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so I have done my 53 star bases. Make sure you count them. And I'm at the last chain. And I'm going to do a half double crochet. To do a half double crochet, all I'm going to do is yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. I have three on my hook. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. That's a half double crochet. Now I'm going to turn my work. Okay, so this is the back of my work. I'm on row two now. And let's read the instructions. So for row two, I'm going to chain two. It doesn't count as a stitch. Then I'm going to do three half double crochets in the chain one space of each star base and then half double crochet in my beginning chain and turn. And I should have 160 half double crochets, which makes sense if I have 53 stars and I'm doing three half double crochets into each of the stars, that's three times 53 is 159 plus an extra one in my beginning chain. So that would give me 160 half double crochets. Okay, so here I am at the beginning, I am going to chain two, one, two, and then at the chain one space, you can turn it over and even look at it, of my first star there, it's right there, that space there, I'm going to do three half double crochets, yarn over, go into that chain one space, that's the thing that connected my star together, my star base together, pull up a loop, I have three on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three, and I'm going to do two more of those in that space. There we go. And this is completing the top of our stars. So that's three. Then I'm going to do that in every, you can turn it over to look, every chain one space at the top of my star bases. I'm going to do three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And I'm going to do that all the way down. There's my next one. One, two, and three. And you see, if we turn this over, we have completed stars. How pretty are those? Okay, so do that all the way down. Make sure you have 160 half double crochets when you're done and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I am now in my last half double crochet, which I'm going to do in the beginning chain. So I'm going to do my half double crochet, go into my beginning chain here, and that will make 160 half double crochets. I counted. So I have 160. Okay, so we've turned our work, and now We are going to chain three, and it does not count as a stitch. Insert the hook into the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert the hook in the next chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And then insert the hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop three times. So the reason that this part is not included in the re repeat is because we start out with pulling up loops through the chains we just made. And then after that, it'll be in stitches. So you'll see. It's important to pay attention to the actual terms used. It'll help you not make mistakes. So we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Then we're going to insert our hook into the second chain, one, two, from the hook, and we're going to pull up a loop. Then we're going to insert into the next chain, pull up a loop, and then in the next three stitches, we'll do the same thing. Pull up a loop. This is the second and the third, and now we should have six loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I'm going to yarn over, pull through all six, close with the chain, and now we're off and running. Same thing we've been doing in row one. We're going to go into that chain one space, pull up a loop, then we're going to go into that last chain that we made a loop, pull up a loop, and then the next three stitches we will pull up a loop just like that. We'll have six on our hook, yarn over, pull through all six, and close with a chain. And we're just going to continue that all the way down. Let's see. And you repeat that over and over across to the beginning chain and half double crochet in the top of the beginning chain and then turn. All right, so I'm at the end of the row, just finished my last star and I'm gonna go into the top of the chain two of my last turning chain. I'm going to do a half double crochet right into that chain there. I can get in there, there we go. and turn my work. All right, so that was the end of row three. Rows four through 87, repeat rows two and three. So we're gonna go back to row two where we chain two and then we do the three half double crochets in the chain one space of each star base all the way across. So we're going to just repeat rows two and three 42 times till we're done, 87 rows. Then we're going to go back and do row two for our 88th row, but don't fasten off. So that is the end of part one, where we will have basically the blanket done minus the border. So finish that up, and in part two, we're going to continue with the border. Okay, so that's the end of part one. That is basically the entire blanket minus the border and the appliques. So once you get to the end of row 88, don't fasten off. That's where we're gonna pick up and we will do our border at that point. I think the pattern is pretty simple, but if you have any questions at all, don't forget, put it in the comments below or send me an email to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com. I will get back to you as quickly as possible. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.